Hey guys, it's Jeff with Flamping Gurus. Uh, today's episode is going to be a follow on to a previous episode I've done in the past about fixing the under deck or underbelly of my slides. Uh, give you a quick preview and an update is I've purchased some uh, stainless steel plate. This is my bedroom slide, and up here you can see these Teflon rollers and they run across this bottom of this area here on the, on the slide and you'll see some area here where it's actually gotten a little bit damaged so I bought some plates that are going to be mounted up here and Gary's going to help me show how to uh, install these things and get them put in All right, so these three stainless steel uh, plates on this, these three, are gonna go underneath the bedroom slide. And then I got three of that are a little bit longer that's gonna go on the opposing slide over there. Guys, these are courtesy of Hanover Machine in Mechanicsville, Virginia. Uh, they cut and drilled and got these plates ready for Jeff. So if y'all need anything like this, we can help accommodate that. Uh, one of the things that's less, lesson learned is I got, these things are uh, eighth inch thick. I could have probably gotten away with about half of that, but uh, this is just a trial run. This is stainless, so it won't rust. Um, and again, I got stainless steel, steel screws, uh, cap head screws, and I got some adhesive that I'm going to put underneath this stainless steel as I uh, mount it to the underneath. So first thing is, when, you know, I put a two, four by four on a floor jack and raised this slide up about you know about a half an inch. And I have some play on this roller here. So we're going to slide that plate up in here and screw it in here. All right, so this is just Loctite power grab. I'm just doing this as a, as a means to both adhere this to the bottom of the uh, slide and be a little bit of a waterproofer. probably put a bead on this after I get it up there too. Alright guys, we're going to put this plate up in here, slide it over. And then we'll get it adhered to with screws. But as you can see, it's up underneath the roller now. And here's the after shot see all three rollers are lined up and I'll give you a shot of this thing going in and out So in order to put these plates in guys we got to put in a little t-jack here to get the slide up so we can get to the roller see we got it jacked up now so now we can see and get the plate up in there all right guys there we have it got them all installed it's smooth as silk and it's protecting the bottom of the slide out all right guys so i just wanted to show you installed on my cedar creek came from the factory this way on my slide outs and this protects mine mine are just a hard plastic but you can see it goes right there with the roller and that's what they did on my cedar creek same thing we just installed so again if you guys need any of these or things of that nature let us know we can get them made for you through Hanover Machine in Mechanicsville Virginia we'll post that link in this video and if you have any questions hit us up in the comment section so Gary uh, I think there is a moral to this story uh, of 
learning on how the ins and outs of our RVs work. Um, Absolutely. So Gary has the hardened plastic. I now have the stainless steel on the rollers of mine. Um, it's something to look forward to when you go to pick out an RV and go looking, especially when you buy a used one. You really want to check out underneath these slides and check these uh, the condition of these rollers. And the reason we did them in stainless for his trailer instead of the hard plastic is because it's so daggone. We couldn't find it in the hard plastic like I have to put it on his. So at any rate, um, yeah, it'll protect the slides, keep them like he had roller marks and so forth on his. So yeah, it's uh, something to definitely look forward to. So mine's a 2018 model. Gary's is a 2021. 2020. 2020. And the underneath side of his slide has a more uh, a nicer veneer, harder plastic veneer, more more uh, protected from the belt line area around. Um, mine didn't, uh, and I obviously had to replace some wood. So I'm just trying to protect my investment and share some of that knowledge with you. Please don't hesitate. Like and subscribe, and if you have to, share this video with others so that they can also fix theirs. Yeah, we really appreciate it, and we hope this helps you.